From Tampa Bay Streaming News Leader, this is ABC Action News. I'm Dee O'Reilly. You'll want to keep the umbrella pretty handy today. Greg D will have your full forecast coming up. But first, I want to get to your ABC Action News headlines. Doctors are monitoring a one-year-old baby after she ingested and overdosed on drugs. Paramedics had to revive that baby girl using Narcan. Authorities say her caregiver, the woman you're seeing here, admitted to using heroin just feet away from that baby. Heather Ravel is now charged with drug possession and child neglect. Grief counselors are at Hillsborough County's transportation office today to help co-workers there cope with the death of a beloved school bus driver. Cynthia Gibson, known to so many as Miss Cherry, was killed in a car crash on her way to work yesterday. She'd been on the job for more than 30 years. She was planning on retiring next May. Environmental activists are furious after crews chopped down dozens of trees at a mobile home park on West Gandy Boulevard in Tampa. They blame a new state law for it. That law prevents cities from regulating the removal of trees on private property as long as an arborist determines those trees pose a risk. Once these trees are gone, there's no way, there's no glue that's manufactured that we can put these trees back together again. An expert says they removed the trees because they were poorly maintained and many of them were damaging nearby homes. Ybor City will soon become a backdrop for spine chilling movies and TV shows, all thanks to a well known director. Dan Myrick is the creator of the Blair Witch Project. He's opening an Ybor City production studio. It'll be a hub for horror films and TV series. The studio plans to crank out a horror TV series called Black Veil. Filming starts this fall. The Tampa Bay Rays are 20 games over 500 for the first time in six years thanks to the beatdown they gave the Padres overnight. The Rays reached the 20 game mark in four previous seasons and made the postseason each time. Last night, Avisail Garcia gave Tampa Bay a lead on this two run homer in the first inning. Matt Duffy got four hits and three RBIs in the game. The Rays went on to win 10 to 4. They play the Padres again tonight at 10-10. It's got to be cooler there, Greg, than it is here. Uh, going to see some rain out there as we head into the afternoon. Hello, everybody. Showers, thunderstorms. Some of these uh, could be heavy at times, maybe even uh, some frequent lightning and gusty winds. A lot of this offshore early is going to move onshore during the afternoon. So our wettest part of the day, middle to latter parts of the afternoon. Then it shifts east of 75 for tonight. Tampa should start to dry out by 7, 8 o'clock, but the storms, they could still be going on out towards the east. You can always track the storms by downloading the ABC Action News app. Do you? All right, thank you, Greg. The biggest movie in history arrives on Blu-ray today. Avengers Endgame passed Avatar in box office receipts, earning nearly $2.8 billion so far. The DVD features six deleted scenes, a gag reel, and seven featurettes. The movie will also be available this December on Disney's new streaming device. You can get news all day long on your favorite streaming device. Just download the free ABC Action News app on Roku, Amazon Fire TV, Android TV, or Apple TV.